So the other type of chart that we like to look at as a trader is a candlestick chart. And this is by far the most popular form of chart. Now, you know, ultimately it's giving us the same information as a bar chart is. So if we drill into a candle again, let's use the same one uh, that we were using. I think this is the same one anyway. Um, let's see exactly what we've got. So we've got the high of the candle here, we've got the low of the candle here. We've also got what's called the body of the candle, and that's the bit that's shaded in red here. And we've got the top of that and the low of that. Now there's a very slight difference with this in terms of how it's referenced as opposed to the bar chart. Now we've got the high of the day on the FTSE on this day, which is the 14th by the look of it. So that's the same as our bar. High of the day, high of the candle. Low of the day, low of the candle. Now, the difference is with the bar chart, between the bar chart and the candle is that the uh, open and close are different depending on the color of the candle. If the candle is red and you've got this set up as such, a down candle, the open is going to be the top of the body and we call this bit uh, the body, this bit, the shady bit, the body. The low is going to be the close. So the low of the body is going to be the close. So in other words, in this candle, we can see the high, the low, the open, close. Now, if we switch that to uh, a green candle, say, let's have a look at this one here. Uh, this one's shaded green, indicating an up day. So the open of the FTSE during this day was the lower part of the body because it's a green candle. So that's the open and that's the close. So they're color coded to suit. Now you can color code your bar charts as well, obviously in preferences, depending on the chart and package you're using, but candles are always represented like this because you need to know, you don't know until you see the color, whether it was a red candle or, or a green candle. This could well have been, you know, a green candle. We could have opened up down here and closed up here, but actual fact we opened here and closed down here, that's why it's a red candle, giving us a little bit more information, a little bit more insight into exactly what's gone on. And then very similarly, to our bar charts, we can scroll out, look at the daily chart. Again, we get the information that we wouldn't normally get with a line chart. Now, a little bit of a terminology here uh, for candles. We've got what's called uh, wicks and tails, or I like to call them wicks and tails. Uh, people name the candlesticks certain patterns, and you can go into depth about you know, specific patterns of one candle and how the shading is, how the body is relative to the wick or how a couple of clusters of candles are put together. They kind of have patterns that have specific names to them. But if we just look at this candle here, the information that we've got here on this tail um, is, is, is so much more valuable than the line which would just be printing the close at this price here, exactly the same as the bar chart. So we've got tails and we've got these wicks as well, which is generally a kind of move to the upside, giving us the idea that sentiment changed intraday. Rather than just giving us the point here, it's saying, listen, this market opened up up here, came all the way down, took out kind of a week's worth of range, pushed all the way back up and then closed half of the range. So we had a massive range on the day, relatively speaking. And this is kind of what this little tool is I've got here to show me the range of the day. We'll probably go into more depth of that later on. But it's so much more valuable. You, you're just getting that information that you wouldn't otherwise get. So we'll just flick now, go to a candle, and let's just flick over to a line a candle and see the difference. You see exactly the same pattern, but the more information you're getting. Now, obviously, you can color code these to your choice if you prefer to see um, blue instead of green um, or whatever it is. And you, some options, some charting softwares allow you to use hollow candles. This is very similar. It's showing you the same kind of thing, but it's just the sake of preference of how you like to visualize it. If you prefer to visualize it in a form of, uh, you know, a hollow candle or a different shaded candle, then it's li literally a visual preference thing. You're actually seeing exactly the same type of information. And we've got other candles. We've got other chart and types like this, like area chart. This is kind of just a pretty way of representing things, isn't it? It's just a more visually appealing thing and perhaps stands out better if you were to use this in a report, if you were going to cut and paste this and put it into some, some kind of uh, document or using it on some sort of website, then the area is better. And we've got other uh, kinds of charts as well, Heiken Ashi. Now, Heiken Ashi, uh, without going too complicated about it, basically the candle isn't really decided are based on the open high low and close it's decided based on the prior day as a formula which is why you kind of get this unusual situation where you get a lot of greens and a lot of funny shaped candles um, so it's important to note if you're 
accidentally loaded on Heiken Ashi and you see this kind of odd, odd unusual pattern, you think, hey, they all look very, very similar. You may have the Heiken Ashi setting set instead of a, a normal candle. And if that interests you, then go and check it out. It's really a way of checking out trends and sticking with trends as opposed to normal candles. And you can get tricked by thinking, thinking you've got a normal candle set when ultimately you've got a Heiken Ashi set. So those are different types of charts. The main ones, there are more out there and that ultimately they're all based on price. But generally speaking, it's recommended if you are a trader looking to capitalize on short term moves, whether that's day trading or whether that's swing trading over you know several days or several weeks, is to try and get a handle on candlestick charts, to get a handle on bar charts, to get a handle on line charts. Now, it's personal preference whether you choose to use bars or candles. As you see, you get the same information. Some people prefer, prefer to see visually whether it was an up day or a down day. In other words, uh, did the high, uh, sorry, was the open higher than the close or vice versa and then seeing that visually. Others just prefer to see the pattern and the direction and the overall kind of feel. So they're seeing there's trend lines here. They're seeing, you know, up moves here. They don't really care what color the candle is. So again, that's down to personal preference. You've got to find your niche and what works for you in technical analysis. But once you've found something you like, whether it's bars or candles, stick with it, work with it and see how you get on.